We are gonna sail from Lina Pacan to Palawan without using modern navigational instruments, only paper charts. This is known to be difficult even for seasoned sailors. It is hard even with the GPS. So for our newbie crew, this is gonna be a real challenge. If we don't execute this correctly, we could end up on a reef or get caught out at sea at night. What the girls don't know is that I will be tracking our course using the GPS. So in the end, we can compare where we actually went with where we thought we were. That's gonna be really cool to see. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> so they were gonna learn how to use the paper chart. This is an important skill to learn. I first wanted to see if the girls could identify our current location on the paper chart. Easy, right? I feel like we're here. Yeah, I'm gonna. That's my vote. This is where we are. No. <laughs> well, this is already off to a rough start. So we got straight into learning about maps, nautical miles, degrees, and headings. It's each line is 0.2 seconds. No, but not 0.2 mm -hmm. seconds, 0.2 minutes. So we're now working on making an actual route that we're gonna sail today in the paper chart. So we'd want to pass that from above and then like use this as a marker to yeah. then... Or we could just go like that and just go straight into that course until we see that island. We also don't know the distance between see this little piece of land and the shallow bit. I think the girls were starting to realize how complicated this task is and it was clear that doubt started to creep in. Just confused on that big piece of land. Is that the next island? Um, it's feeling a bit out of touch. I know that like I maps and sense of direction is where I struggle with the most so I'm trying not to like focus on that and decide that I'm not gonna be able to know this and I'm like trying to learn it but also like as much as I want these skills, it's not very interesting to me. And I feel like it's taken us an hour and we're just out of our starting point. The girls were determined and as things started to click, their confidence began to build. It will be interesting to see if they can come together and work as a team to figure this out. So earlier I stated I was not interested in this technically, but actually I feel like I've aided a lot in planning a pretty good route mm -hmm. and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Right now, I'm very interested in this. <laughs> As we're just prepping for the sail, we are already facing a problem involving the entire team. So it seems like the anchor is wrapped around something, so I'm gonna jump in to see what's happening. effort of everyone to make this happen. And now we can finally go. The anchor is up. However, we only got a few seconds break before the plan had to be altered for the first time. It is hard because the charts here in general are pretty bad. So it is hard even with the GPS. The girls have made a good route. Because there are sticks. So we have to get out of like this small little bit. Maybe taking the safe route instead of going in the narrow areas where it's even harder. There's a lot of adjusting to do right now. So the steering part is actually very brain consuming. Loki, my tired brain is shutting down a bit. I need you guys to go see if we can see those three islands. We got three islands over there. <laughs> three islands in sight. I thought the islands were gonna be way bigger than what they are. They're like little rocks in the middle of the ocean. I was expecting really big islands, like thinking that we couldn't see the second one because it'd be covered up from the first one. It's just rocks. <laughs> so initially we made this plan and we were going to pass these two islands and then a third one and then we were gonna turn. But we are now realizing that these islands are little rocks and if we turn after the third one, like we initially said, it just looks like we're going a really long way that way. So right now we're trying to figure out if what we are seeing now that we think is the third island, maybe it's our fourth one and we should turn before. But we don't know. So we're gonna try and figure it out. And in terms of doing all of this kind of like manually and just with the paper charts, I think it's, it's a little bit complicated. Driving. We're driving. Hello crew. Traveler for the main sail, slightly to starboard. We got a lot of space to really pop. We're gonna do our best. 
not so easy to stay on course it's not so easy to know where we are like you don't see if it's an island or if it's mainland because it looks like it's all connected so I understand that the girls are struggling a little bit I don't have GPS either I'm not sitting here double checking what they're doing in the actual chart a sailing became challenging for the crew I decided to assist with the triangulation. We are now trying to do a triangulation to figure out where we are. Triangulation is a way of determining something's location using the location of other things. If you can identify two points on the landscape and the same two points on a map, all you need to know is the bearing between you and the two points on the landscape. Let's see, because we have an opening here that we can see through. Yeah. So it might be this opening here that we're mm. seeing. That means we're right there, right nice. now. Nice! That's actually quite cool. Take you! Nice! Woo! <laughs> we just did a triangulation. We are on track. And yeah, I cannot look at the instruments because the second like I take my focus off of it, the boat just starts veering elsewhere. Communication between the crew is always important by sailing, but it's especially important on this trip and will be a key factor on whether or not the girls can safely and successfully make it to our destination. After some highs, another unexpected challenge popped up. So we're just having a great time, you know, getting into the flow of things, keeping the boat straight. We know exactly where we're going and then there is another sailboat. According to what we've learned, if they would have come this way, they have the right of way. But also, that's just going to cause so many problems because we're going to have to stop and turn and not really sure what else. So I really hope they don't come. Way. Yeah, it's like I wish we could just put like a student driver sticker on the boat and then they could just like. So, our friends over here still going strong <laughs> and they're coming closer. The boat kept coming closer, and even if we were very close at some point, especially if you're new in the sailing game, we crossed paths and could continue on our journey stress free. So, we just finished triangulating again to make sure that we were between the right lighthouses, and I was telling Mara that. It's really difficult because I'll start to understand it on the map and I'll understand my calculations and I'm like, cool, got it. And then the second I look up, I'm like, <laughs> where are we? And the islands just like, they don't look the same, at least for me, like I really struggle to visualize it. So then, and then if I understand it on land and then I'm like, okay, and I look back down at the map, but I'm like, where is that on the map? But I feel like doing it this way, like looking at the maps, it makes you more aware of where you're actually going. I feel like when we've got the automatic GPS, like I don't think about what island that is and like yeah. how how big is it how small is it like you're just going I have no thoughts no thoughts because we're thinking of all the other things yeah. so it's my shift engines went off because I care about this <laughs> because, <laughs> oh, I know. because the wind is working with us uh, or maybe you uh, underestimating my muscles might as well get the muscles <laughs> I need to train harder than that special things we often see happen of a season of sail and ripple effect is that we get to see these girls learn, grow and become more confident. We get to witness their personal growth journeys but we also get to see them work together and grow as a team. These moments are always a great reminder of the importance of challenging yourself and pushing out of your comfort zone. As we pulled into our anchorage in El Nido, it was a proud and exhausted crew that could finally drop the anchor. And despite of the hardship, this challenge could be considered a success. The only thing missing was to see how we actually did by comparing our GPS track to our plotted course. So, let's have a look at our track Ooh. compared to where we thought we were at all times. The yellow is where we went. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at us. Actually, <laughs> so that's Attacking. really, really good. That's good, yeah. right? Yeah. We've been doing a freaking good. And we meal. made it. We're anchored. Yeah. What are we eating for eating. dinner? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to make dinner. 